Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell, and we are coming on the air on this Wednesday night following a number of breaking stories involving the U.S. military, including that drone strike in Iraq that the Pentagon says killed a high-ranking commander of Kataib Hezbollah. That is the Iranian-backed militia that is blamed for the death of three soldiers in Jordan. The United States says the commander killed is responsible for directly planning and participating in terrorist attacks against American forces in the Middle East. There have been 168 attacks on U.S. service members in Iraq, Syria, and Jordan since October. The strike targeted a single car on a busy street in the eastern part of the Iraqi capital. And this is the first time since the deaths of those soldiers that the United States has targeted a specific person after a major strike last week against buildings and weapons depots. The president has vowed that attacks on these militia groups will continue as long as the U.S. military in the region is threatened. Here's CBS's David Martin with new reporting from the Pentagon. The drone strike in downtown Baghdad engulfed a vehicle in flames, killing a senior commander of the largest Iranian-backed militia in Iraq and Syria, known as Kataib Hezbollah. U.S. officials said the nighttime strike was part of the retaliation ordered by President Biden after the drone attack which killed three American soldiers in Jordan. The target of tonight's strike was in charge of Kataib Hezbollah operations in Syria, just across the border from Jordan. And Pentagon officials had fingered Kataib Hezbollah as the most likely suspect. As the footprints of Kataib Hezbollah, um, but not making a final assessment on that. Retaliation for the Jordan attack began last Friday night with airstrikes against half a dozen locations in Iraq and Syria including ammunition dumps, which set off spectacular secondary explosions. More than 85 targets in all. We currently assess that we had good effects and that the strikes destroyed or functionally damaged more than 80 targets at the seven facilities. The effect that matters is whether these retaliatory strikes put an end to attacks against American troops. Since that Friday night strike, there have been two confirmed attacks, both in Syria, but no injuries to Americans. Nora? Yeah, let's see what happens next. David Martin, thank you.